Oh yeah, okay. Where are you in Jamaica right now? Yeah, Jamaica. Yeah. Right. Okay, okay. So you ready for the interview? You good? Yeah, man. Ready, ready, okay. Ready. Okay, okay. So let's kick it off then. Let's start off by saying or asking you, who is Dan Geo? What's it all about? You yourself. What are you all about? Yeah. Well, Dan Geo Van is just a humble, cool individual who loves music with a passion. Yeah. You know, music. Is, is, is really my first, second and third choice and my choice of musical song would be a mixture with radical roots, reggae, vibration along with dance, a little bit of pop, you know, um, hip hop also because hip hop is really a major influencer for me yeah. in the initial stage of music also, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, so it's really a mixture of everything, okay. but rooted in reggae music. Yeah, okay, okay. So yeah. why that name? Dan Gio. Yeah, why that name? Well, Gio, Gio, well, Gio, you know, that story is really a funny story, but I'm going to share it with you all. Okay. Giovanni is my middle name. Mm. Okay. Right, and it's an artist friend of mine by the name of Dominance gave me that name, Dan, Dan Giovanni. But um, whenever, whenever I'm performing at stage shows, like the MCs, you know, the MCs are the ones who call up. And yeah, yeah. And, yeah, so the MCs now we have difficulty pronouncing my name. Okay. So instead of them saying Dan Giovanni, they used to say like Dan Gigovanni, <laughs> Dan Javinci, Dan Gigalo. So I said, no man, I had to, I had to cut off the Giovanni and leave it at Dan Gio. So Dan Gio is, is much more easier to, to okay. absorb. <laughs> okay, okay. So you just cut it down ready so that people can say it good. Okay, okay. So yeah, man. tell us about the song Survival. I was just playing it. Tell us a little something yeah. about that song. Alright, well, that song is really a deep song, also a therapy for okay. me because at that point in time uh, I was going through heights of depression where, um, you know, music, as I said before, music is really my first, second and third choice, but reality, reality set it away where, you know, you have to, you have to be working, mm. you know, further than, your, further than your education as well. You know, fighting the fight yeah. on a daily basis just to make you survive, you know, your family survive, your siblings mm. and all of those stuff. And, you know, my mother, my grandmother and my father, they are all ill. So I was going through a lot of mental depression and that night, I just come up with the rhythm in my head. Mm. I laid the rhythm and just vent. It was really a therapy song for me because I was going through a lot of, a lot of stress. Yeah. And I just vented that night and... Yeah, yeah, survival. <laughs> the rest is history, right? <laughs> yeah, history. Wow. Okay. So you, as a magician, I'm gonna say magician yeah. or artist, however people wish to say it. Okay. When did yeah. your journey begin? How did it start? Let's take it all the way back. So when did you start getting into music? Where did you start those kind of things? Well, the first, the first place and the first time. Yeah. Sorry, the first place and the first time. I started doing music as well. It was that very first time when, when my mother had me in the hospital. Okay. I went out, with, yes, I went, during delivery when I came, when I came out of my mother and I, you know, now my babies cry. Mm. That was my first time, really and truly, that was my first time mm. doing music. When I said, ah! <laughs> yeah, it was me singing out. I mm. said, yes! <laughs> I'm alive! Yeah, okay. However, since music is really a hereditary thing in my family, so I grew up, mm. I grew up, um, here, my mother, my father, my cousins, my aunties, everybody singing. Mm. And also, I grew up in, in the Wellington Town Seventh-day Adventist Church. That, was, that, was, that is really the fundamental aspect of the music where I learned everything. Okay. Special big up goes out to Auntie Marcia. Mm. And she was one, she's a choir director. Okay. So... Yeah, man. A lot of rehearsals every day and everything, so I was rooted in mm -hmm. the music thing, no? Okay. Yeah, man. Wow, okay. Big up, big up, big up. Definitely, each and every time. So, when I was reading your your bio, going through your music, like you said before, yeah. there's a lot of fusion between, um, say, hip-hop, rapper kind of style, to dance or reggae. How do you <clears throat> fuse all those musics? together so that they make sense to the listener well um it's really it's really easy you know it's basically all of those genres is basically a part of my musical dna yeah because if 
from the initial stage, you know, started out with hip hop. Okay. Yeah, I started out in hip hop because I'm a huge fan of NWA, yeah. Dr. J, Snoop Dogg, Nas, Tupac. <laughs> okay. You know, too much the name. Mm. So what I do, I just I just easily fuse a, t- a tip of this to that. Mm. I link everything. It's like when you're cooking. Mm. You know, you have your, you have your tomatoes, you have your pepper, yeah. sweet pepper, and all of them seasoning there. Just mix everything. And yeah, boom. Mm. Have a final product, so it, it's really easy for me still to okay. merge everything. Do you have a favorite, like you always go to, or is it all just your favorite? Uh, <laughs> well, right, right now, <laughs> right now I would say reggae, right now. Okay. But tomorrow, tomorrow it might be something different. Yeah. Okay. I can't really tell you. I can't really tell you what. I can't really tell you tomorrow, but right now it's really reggae because even before your time, I was listening to some some nice rubber dub, you know, roots. Okay, I like yeah, that. Some, <laughs> yeah, some burning spear and mm. Dan Carlos and them ones there. You know what I mean? For real, yes, definitely. Speaking of reggae, speaking of dancehall, of course, most people will know about the clash that just recently happened. What's your thoughts yeah. on it, Beanie versus Bounty? <laughs> what What are you thinking about that? Yo, let me tell you something, man. It's it's that clash. Yeah. That clash, that clash is dancehall right there. Mm. Yeah, real authentic dancehall where where artists show showcase their stage craft. Yeah. And and we as upcoming artists have to take a page, mm. or even a couple chapter, even a book yeah. from these artists and learn from them. Because let me tell you something. The first time me have, uh, me have, a, me have a reggae artist version by the name of Jamax. Okay. And before before we even started performing on live bands, mm-hmm. we used to sit home and go on YouTube and watch Sting Sting um Sting ninety three with the same bounty versus beanie. And we used to emulate emulate them every day, performing, rehearsing at our out our house. Yeah. Until we go on the stage you now I would just emulate everything with them do. And we get the forward, we get the feedback that we that we we expected to get. So, yeah. long live the legends, them man. It is really, it's really an honor mm. to watch them do them thing, you know. For real. Yeah, man. Yeah, because I did see a little bit of negativity here and there from different people where they were saying, "How come they couldn't have, you know, say Jamaican set it up? Why did it have to be, you know, Swiss and Timberland? You know, there's always negativity. So, what are you um, yeah, what are you yeah. think what are you thinking about that? Well, really and truly, you know, I, I, I see it as a big plus mm. for, for the culture, for the genre, mm. and for reggae music. It's really a big plus, and I mean, trust me, it's, it's the best thing that could happen right now, because due to the due to the, the pandemic that's going on, you know, mm. we can't have a, no gathering. Mm. So, you know, music, in terms of live performances, live, yeah. is kind of in the past. But, you know, music have to continue and give thanks to for these mediums where we can uh, showcase our talent and it's even great for, for the for the for the upcoming acts and also mm-hmm. the acts that are, always have been there because a lot of international acts tune in to that life yeah loads <laughs> loads yeah, man. it was wicked yeah, man, I love it. it was really love that it, it smoke dog everybody rihanna yeah, yeah man it, it, and i saw it for God, man. definitely and you know what it was really a proud moment to be um, myself, I'm I'm mixed, so it was just a proud moment. Like, yeah, we are Jamaican, you know. <laughs> it was one of those moments. It was really yeah, good. Yeah. So, definitely, those who are just locking in, we're having a great interview with Dan Gio. Okay, for those who are just coming up now. So we're just speaking about your musical journey. Okay. So who who have you collaborated with and you've enjoyed collaborating with? All right. Tell us. All right. Alright, from initial stage I collab with um Dominance, mm. um Data Kappa, I also collab with Dinier, Jamax, Chaos, even Luciano. Yeah, yeah. Luciano. So far so far in terms of known artists, mm. Luci. Yeah. Luciano, yeah man, so far. And I want I want to say I collab with a lot of people so far. Mm. Okay. Mind. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, I've heard the one with Luciano. I think it's um a real good vibration. 
as well. And you know the friendly fire band, they always big you up as well. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> for yeah, real. Fire, yes, Definitely, right. always, always, always. So, what is it that you're doing now? What kind of projects are you doing? Um, can you give us any any little sneak previews beforehand? Mm -hmm. Yeah man, definitely man, definitely. Okay. Well, um, I just, I just, I just released the Emotional Tide EP, mm. which consists of seven songs. You know, it's on all digital stores, online platforms, online it can get it. Um, other than that, we're working on some singles. Okay. Right now, yeah, working on some singles right now, and and whenever, whenever I finish this interview, I'm gonna do a collab with a Nigerian-based artist by the name of Queen A. Okay. That should be yeah, sick. That, that be crazy. <laughs> but I'm like, well, I'm like gonna get a sneak preview right now. Okay, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward. Yeah, it's a it's a Afrobeat song still. Though. That's a that's good man. Yeah man. But this is the voice of Queen here. Okay. Each and every time, I think she's in the comments, you know. Fire to you as well, man. Definitely, uh, that, pure that love. Is queen, yeah. Pure Everybody love. Can, can go and follow her and listen to her content, she's real good. Okay, Trust okay. Me, she's real good. yeah, man, yeah. for real. Big respect each and every time. You know what? So, how do you decide who you're going to collab with? Because there's so many artists. How do you decide, right? You know what? I'm definitely going to do one with him or her. How do you go for it? Why? <laughs> I just let I just I just let the energy decide and let Jah decide. Okay. The universe decide because everything that I'm in love, you know. Mm. So whenever I reach that stage, um, where I reach out to a, I reach out to artists, you know. Yeah. I reach out to artists, to artists reach out to me. So yeah, man, it's hard for that man. Once energy is right, though. Yeah. I have no problem. Yeah. Definitely. So those who are on either the dancehall scene, the hip-hop scene, or even the reggae scene, who who would, who would, do you, who are you rating at the minute, or who's on your speakers at the minute? All right. <laughs> There's probably so, so many, but still. <laughs> come on, a lot of, a lot of acts. Okay. But um, right now, mm. reggae, recently I've been listening a lot to a lot of five-star. Okay, yeah. Artists by name, five-star, but five-star, okay. Rasai, Runkos, um, and it's IG by the name of Junior. Okay. You know, and um, Papito Ferguson also, mm. Jamas, Jesse Royal, mm. God, Natty Pablo, Natty Pablo, man, listen, Natty Pablo. <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? It's bad. <laughs> My tongue. Yeah. Okay. Pablo, yeah, man. I'm a whole heap of great ones, man. Mm. Definitely, yeah, man. definitely. 
So, yeah. what about the artist Janine? What are you thinking about Janine? Yo, <laughs> Janine, Janine, trust me, man. I, yeah. I can't even find words to describe Janine. Yeah. Janine is mystical. Janine, Janine mm. is like, it's like the breeze yeah. blowing and 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 let your mind at ease. Mm, for real. She's great, man. Yeah. She's a true definition of neo roots. Yeah. For real. Yeah, man. And the same with Leela Ike. If you walk, you walk and talk, you talk. Definitely. And the same with Leela Ike. Lots of people are talking about her as well. Her new album has come out. The experience. What are you thinking about that as well? Peace of mind. Yeah. <laughs> That's my tune I play all the time. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, man. This is really an experience, man. Leela Ike, trust me, man. We can't have a fine words to describe Lee Like music, man. Lee Like no normal. Yeah. Just I'm a love my man. She tough. Yeah, for real. Tough, 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 yeah. Definitely. So let's So the song you did with Luciano, Have to Get a Beaten. How did that song come about and why did you guys do it? Alright. You know it was my manager at the time. Chisel, big up Chisel. Chisel is the one who, who link up with Friendly Fire Band. Yeah. And the first time, the first time I am meet Friendly Fireman, mm. so I mean, our next IG name, Leonard. Okay. Oh, it was really a dub session. Mm. Yeah, so I passed through and, and, and chat my dub and everything and you know, all the vibes and... Yeah. Them, they played the rhythm. I want to tell still, I want to tell still, you know, that the same rhythm that I did the dub on. Okay. That is, that is the same, that is the same rhythm. Okay. Get in, yeah. Mm. That rhythm. Yeah, yeah, man. So you know, friendly fire just link up and send me um, Luciano's vocals. Okay. Just recording my song around it. Okay. Or my verse. So yeah, my mm. verse around it. Yeah. Wow, for real, for, for real. Cause friendly fire, a tough man, Mikey tough, and the whole crew, definitely. Definitely, so, man. Yeah, man. Tell us about the album as well, Eternal Knowledge. Let's go with that, a little back a little bit. I turned out it was really the first the first project I mean launching out as a record act. Okay. Because before before I was doing dance star music and mm. that was really the rebirth of of Dangio. Okay. See? Yeah, so you know we just we just find some rhythms on, on YouTube. Mm. You know, guys it's a it's a free it's a free project. Yeah. Everybody could go and download it for free. Mm. It wasn't done any streaming site, so but it's a introduce what Danger has to offer, you know? Okay, okay. So, yeah, what makes you different to any other artist? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask ya. <laughs> Alright. Um, at the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, what you see is what you get, you know? Yeah. Because what you see right now, that is really me, I just don't mean stay. Mm. And all of my songs yeah. really reflect what who i am definitely okay yeah so what makes what makes me different is that um i speak on songs that people are afraid to, to speak on mm. okay because uh, let's let's go back to survival a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff a lot of emotional stress but are afraid to speak of it mm. or speak on it yeah yeah so i'm like the voice the inner voice of of the people mm -hmm. Yeah, reaching topics that people are afraid to speak on, you know? Definitely. Okay. So that's what... Would yeah. you be up for doing a little something live for the listeners, for myself? Whatever song you want to do? Yes, man. Sure. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, I'm going to set up this. Where about, whereabouts are you based in Jamaica? Where are you now in Jamaica? Where, where am I now? Yeah. I'm in Portmore. Okay, okay. Uh, in Brockhout Studio. This is okay. this is this is the home. Okay. Home of, the home of, of Nanjia. Okay. <laughs> Big up chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I never leave my guitar. Me and it always par. Okay. With a piece of one, I never leave it far. Ready? Yeah, ready man. Let's go. i 
dance all night. You can see it in my eyes. Every day I'm just and fed up with life. Been overloaded and I'm so confused. I'm home tonight to find them back to school. I don't know what to do. Cause I'm losing my need. But reality, I'm the reason for the chill. I want to be the key. Cause I say I'm the feet. Instead of happiness, every day we are feel pain and torture. Every day we pray to John, never this me and stop. Every day we stress on getting manga. Me mad at me, father, see, cause I need Broke to the pan, can't buy high side and no pamper. Broke to the keep me can't even buy no ganja. Every day we question it until we find no answer. All of this is like a mystery. After the DJ cast on this dark road, I will survive. I know my blood, judge or guide my life. Hold on, on this rocky road. She come around and force it down in a minute This try a confidence when I hear she tell me feel it Be careful of your friends cause you might need you to bridge it The dreams and kill it Hey, opportunity life is a big tear Just believe it, just listen to your spirit Now this year never be living I tell you don't give up, I tell you push it to the limit I tell you say, life's so tough Life's so rough, dread It's just a test, don't give up man Godless, it's full of substance Tell yourself you will make an adjustment Depression will make you disgusted, but once you are blind, you will make it with a strength of the most high, of the most high child. Away, 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 I'm say it's got to be away. Blessings every time, yes. People look like they were loving it, giving you fire signs and all sorts of things, definitely. Wow, man. You know what? All I, for real, man. All I can say is just... All I can say is just keep pushing forward on it. I'm sure, you know what I mean, that you can go far and keep going for it. So, who are you looking up to at the minute? Or who are, who are you kind of thinking, you know what? Yeah, I can do that. Who are you kind of looking up to? You know, I'm looking up to everybody who, mm. who, who's thinking positive mm. in this negative world that we're living in. Okay. So everybody mm. who's holding a conscious meditation, yeah. big up yourself and you should also give yourself a round of applause. Mm. All of the all of the superheroes, yeah. the the um the Superman, the Wonder Woman, the Avengers, <laughs> all of the superheroes who is doing the right thing in society who's not getting the highlight. Mm. Big up. Definitely. Yeah, man, I look up to everybody who's doing the right thing, man. Give thanks every time. So, <laughs> as an artist, what advice could you give to other artists that are up and coming, like mostly the young people that are coming up and they just want to be an artist? What can you say to them? Just continue to do your best. Mm -hmm. Always, always tell yourself that there is room for improvement. Mm -hmm. Don't let the ego get the best of you. Yeah, for real. Because ego is characteristics can also by default be destructive to your growth seeing so always listen look listen learn if you listen you will learn but you must learn to listen definitely so people people come and tell you you know i like that song but i don't like how you do this mm -hmm. and i don't like how you do that give a listening ear you never can tell that person can be actually telling you the right thing and you, when you change it mm. you get that effect that you really wanted to get mm. you know but always always push on always continue to do your best even when nothing even when it looks like the, the sky is gray mm. is going on just continue pushing always rehearse always keep yourself physical yeah. less um Less drinking, you know what I mean? Just keep yourself more physical. Mm -hmm. Exercise a lot, a lot of abs. Because when you sing, you sing from your diaphragm. Mm -hmm. See? And rehearse a lot. I always rehearse. I always keep reading also. Mm -hmm. And find new strategies and new ways to market yourself. Definitely. Yeah, man. Make yourself stand out, you know? Give thanks. You know what? It's been such a pleasure to speak for yourself. And it's nice to actually, you know, 
we can do IG lives and all these things, even though we are in a pandemic. So what would you like to yeah. say to the listeners who are locked in right now and are a fan of you? What would you like to say to them? Well, I would like to say big up and, and maximum respect for all the strength that I've been getting, mm. especially with Mama song Survival. I want to say that based on the demographics that I'm seeing, yeah. Nigeria, mm. trust me, Nigeria is really the, the place that is really pushing survival. Yeah. I want to big up all Nigerians on the live or off the live. I just want to big up Nigeria mm. all the time, you know, for pushing that song and pushing me so also as an artist. Okay. I give thanks, man. You know, you know what? Man. I can see you going to Nigeria, maybe doing a little show there, or big show there, should I say? Yes, man. <laughs> for real. Even live, even live there too. Yeah, even live there too, for sure. So, yeah, man. for those who are, maybe they want to get in touch with you, they want to contact you, how can they do that? Okay, so they, they can they can reach me, even IG. They can reach mm. me through, through IG. They can email me at dangiovannibookings okay. at gmail.com. It is D A N. G I O V A N N I mm. bookings at gmail.com. Okay. And you know, in terms of listening to my music, you can you can reach me at um, Audio Mac, just type in Dan Geo Music, mm. SoundCloud, Dan Geo Music, YouTube, Dan Geo Music, yeah. also Spotify, the same thing. Mm. Everything is the same. <laughs> Apple Music, yeah. Okay. These okay. are everything. Yeah, man. You know what? I think it's only good to be playing this song as we go up. People go and follow him, go and check him out, Dan Geo Music, definitely. From home to night to five, then back to school, I don't know what to do. Cause I'm music we need, but reality, I tell me send me for cheap. I'm one to me degree, cause as I have a feed, instead of happiness, every day me are feel pain and torture. But me pray to you, John, never this me ask for. Every day me stress on getting maga. Me mother, me father, see God, and even my grandma. Broke to the pine, can't buy ice, I no pampa. Broke to the pine, me can't even buy no ganja. Every day me question it, and still no get no answer. All of this is like a mystery. I thought it back to me, sweet, and if it treats Yeah, man, you know what? It's pure vibes. I just can't say anything more. All I can say is just keep doing what you're doing. Any new songs, any new music, please pass it my way. I'll always play it on the radio, everything like that for sure. And you know what? Maybe after this pandemic, you can come back to the UK. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, any final thoughts, any final words you want to say to the listeners before we go? Yeah, man. Everybody who tune in don't know one love, one art, one name, one destiny. Don't okay. keep the thing positive. Yeah. And I always know that we have the breath of life. Everything mm. in life is possible. Definitely. And you determine the tide mm. of, the, of the scene, you know? Definitely. And give thanks again, DJ Cat. Anytime. You know, Hey, DJ Kadorin, I, I have a dog plate the red in and oh, I can't wait. Gym, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Definitely. You know what? I can't <laughs> wait. And also, people go and support Queen A as well. Um, I want people to go and check out her music. Support the artist. Make sure people go and support the artist and just show them some love for real. Yeah. Definitely. You know what? I want to say thank you to you as well. You know, for doing the interview. Once again, I'm sorry we were a little bit late because of my internet. It went down, <laughs> but it's back up. We're all good. But we give thanks, yeah. Yeah. For real. And we'll speak True. again soon. Yeah, man. Same thing with DJ. Okay? All right then. Love. Have a good rest of the day because I know it's like twelve, like twelve, half twelve there in JA now. Yeah, I can't say I'm twelve fifty-seven. Okay, right okay, now. okay. Yeah, so have a good rest of the day and we'll speak again soon for sure, yeah? Alright. Alright, bless up. Bless. Speak again soon. See you yeah, later, man. everybody. Yeah, my respect. Bless up everyone. More love. Yes, people. Um I just wanna say thank you.
for locking in okay to another interview really appreciate the vibes that was dan geo okay big shout out to everybody 